teaching a bunch of seventh graders to use hammer and uh, design levels so we pretty much just wanted them to create a room that they made by themselves. Uh, there were three students per station and I think each station had a successful uh, test room that they could actually run around in. Um, they just really had a portal gun and a companion queue that they could throw around and toss between portals and everything seemed to work out and once they got in that level, I don't think I could teach them anything more. They were so excited about actually being able to play it and being something that they created that uh, that was pretty much the end of it. <laughs> I think at this age, they're really pretty quick to catch on to things, especially in this generation. been working on a spatial reasoning project so the kids were building these models and they were rotating the figures in space and taking pictures of them and doing drawings and then we're able to come to Valve and using the hammer tool they're working with models rotating figures in space in order to create a level in portal and it was just a fantastic application of what we did in class in the real world you give them this, this tool and you show them the real basics and then they're, they're just off like a rocket. They just they immediately start clicking on things, trying stuff, and they, they're quickly a step ahead of the presenter. They, they learn from what they, you know, the basics that you showed them and then they just start making what they want and uh, it's, it's really exciting. It's really exciting to see like just the, the pace at which they take from a little tiny little spark and then they just go off and do their own little creation. and they created rooms and, and uh, they, they put some entities in them and then they compiled the maps and when those maps opened up and suddenly they were in the game featuring the room that they had built, the whole room was like, oh my gosh, they were so excited, so excited. And that was their aha moment. In our classrooms, our math classrooms, we're collaborating, we're solving things, we're working together to create projects in teams. And then we go to Valve, and the kids see that, yes, in the real world, teams of people work together and look at the amazing products they create. It's really satisfying for us, and I, I could just tell it's going to be totally memorable for those, for those kids. I'm really glad we got a chance to do that for them. This was the most amazing field trip. I pity whoever has to take them on the next field trip because it's not even going to compare to what they experienced today at Valve. How do you use the toilet? You press E. 